Demisers Item Number SCP-1002 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures All objects tied to instances of SCP-1002 are to be contained in a brightly lit 6 meter by 6 meter 20 by 20 feet chamber. SCP-1002-6 is to be contained in a suitably sized hangar. No D-Class personnel are to come within 10 meters of the containment chamber or hangar. No personnel involved with end-of-the-month termination for D-Class personnel are to come within 10 meters of the containment chamber or hangar. All interactions with SCP-1002 instances are to be done via robotic drone. SCP-1002's containment chamber is to be guarded by three members of security who have not yet killed in a combat situation. The same will be done with SCP-1002-6's containment hangar. Description SCP-1002 is an abnormal shadow belonging to a group of six objects currently in Foundation custody. Each of these objects possesses the shadow of a humanoid individual dressed in a law enforcement uniform. Objects tied to SCP-1002 currently in containment are SCP-1002-1, a grandfather clock retrieved from blank, possesses the shadow of a medieval knight. SCP-1002-2, a small pole retrieved from blank, possesses the shadow of a member of the blank PD. SCP-1002-3, large printer retrieved from blank, possesses the shadow of a Roman soldier. SCP-1002-4, a pigeon retrieved from blank, possesses the shadow of a member of the blank police force. SCP-1002-5, a kitchen knife retrieved from blank, possesses the shadow of a security guard at the blank casino. SCP-1002-6, a Boeing 737 retrieved from blank, possesses the shadow of a member of a SWAT team. The objects tied to SCP-1002 do not behave in an anomalous manner, with the exception of their shadow. SCP-1002 tied to these objects are dormant and stationary, until an individual who has committed what is socially considered to be a crime in the last six months comes within 10 meters of the object they are tied to. At this point, SCP-1002 instances will become active and manifest as a dark humanoid figure similar in appearance to their dormant stage. SCP-1002 will then attempt to pursue the targeted individual. SCP-1002 instances have demonstrated high levels of agility and appear to be able to track their target through walls. If the targeted individual moves 10 meters away from the SCP-1002 instance, it will return to a dormant state at its original object. If the individual is caught by this manifestation, they will inflict a physical punishment directly proportionate to the crime the individual has committed. Despite the severity of this physical punishment, the victim will remain alive and conscious until taken 10 meters away from the manifestation. Through careful study, researchers have discovered punishments tied to the following crimes. Minor crime, littering, etc. Removal and severing of fingers. Shoplifting, non-fatal removal of fingers, tongue and eyes. Burglary. Non-fatal removal of hands, ears, tongue, and eyes. Assault. Non-fatal heavy damage to the legs. Removal of hands, ears, tongue, and eyes. Murder. Non-fatal removal of arms, legs, ears, tongue, and eyes. Mass murder. Non-fatal removal of arms, legs, ears, tongue, and eyes. Subject was then disemboweled and, using the subject's internal organs, Suspended from the ceiling of the testing chamber, movement was detected from the subject for two minutes before they were removed from the area by members of security.